an island that vanished into the sea, an advanced civilization lost in a single day and not of catastrophe. Fact, fiction, or combination of both. For thousands of years, the legend of Atlantis has captivated explorers, scholars, and dreamers. Could Atlantis have really existed? Or is it just a fable created to teach a deeper lesson? The lost civilization of Atlantis, myth or reality? Birth of a legend, Plato's Atlantis in 360.C. The Greek philosopher Plato gave the world the first reading account of Atlantis. In his two works Timaeus and Critias, Plato described an advanced civilization that lay beyond the Palos of Hercules, what we now call the Strait of Gibraltar. According to Plato, Atlantis was a utopia, a land of wealth, knowledge and architecture that could rival the gods. Its inhabitants were warriors and thinkers, and their armies spread their influence far and wide. But there was a twist Atlantean prosperity turned to greed, and the gods punished them. The story is mysterious and dramatic, but here's the question. Did Plato create Atlantis as a political allegory, or was he retelling an older historical event? Symbolism or history? Some historians believe Plato used Atlantis as a moral tale, a warning against arrogance. But others argue, why bother describing the geography, history? After all, Plato is known for his allegories, such as the allegory of the cave. Atlantis may illustrate the dangers of excessive power and moral decline, teaching that even the strongest civilizations can collapse if they abandon virtue. And fall of Atlantis if it is pure F-I-C-T-O-N-E-V-E-N claiming that the story originated with Egyptian priests. Passed down through Solon a respected Athenian statesman. But here's where things get complicated. No other ancient source mentions Atlantis. The idea that Atlantis is real has sparked many expeditions. Some say it's in the Mediterranean, some say it's near the Americas, and some believe it's hidden beneath the Antarctic ice sheet. In 2009, researchers announced the discovery of sunken ruins off the coast of Spain that may be related to a Bronze Age civilization. Is this Atlantis? Many explorers point to the island of Santorini. His eruption around Yao Liming Bi, Sidian destroyed the Minoan civilization. The disaster was sudden, and the culture was advanced much like Plato's description. Could the story of Atlantis be a distorted memory of Minoan's people passed down through oral tradition? Or are we looking for Atlantis in the wrong place? Antarctica, the Azores, or Atlantis in the Americas? Let's explore some of the more creative theories than one of the most popular is that Atlantis lies beneath the ice of Antarctica buried after the Earth's pose shifted. This theory, while speculative, has captivated the imagination for decades. Others claim that Atlantis is hidden within the Bermuda Triangle, which is responsible for mysterious disappearances in that region. A chain of islands in the Atlantic could be the remains of Atlantis. The island's volcanic origins and unique ecosystems make them intriguing possibilities. And let's not forget the theorists who suggest the lost city is located in the Americas. From the highlands of Bolivia to the underwater formations of Cuba, Realistic candidate, the Minoan connection of all the theories the Minoan civilization seems the most plausible. Centered on the island of Crete, the Minoans were known for their advanced architecture, trade networks and stunning art. But around Yao Liming B.C., a massive volcanic eruption on the nearby island of Farinao Santrini triggered an earthquake and tsunami that devastated the region. The timeline fits, and Atlantis and the Minoans are depicted as advanced seafaring cultures. There's one caveat though, the Minoans didn't disappear overnight, and they didn't sink beneath the sea due to an eruption and alien invasion. Atlantis in myth and pop culture whether Atlantis was real or not it has certainly become bigger than life. From Disney's Atlantis, the lost empire to the writings of HDMP. Lovecraft the idea of a lost civilization with advanced technology, has been ingrained in our imaginations. Atlantis represents not only a lost world, but also the allure of the unknown a symbol of the mysteries that may still lie beneath the waves. Archaeology versus the legend is the truth out there. In recent years, technology has given new life to the search for Atlantis. Satellite imagery underwater drones and advanced sonar mapping allow us to explore the ocean floor like never before again. However, archaeologists remain cautious. Finding ancient ruins beneath the sea does not mean we found Atlantis after all. Countless civilizations have left their traces in the depths. But that doesn't stop the search again for many. Atlantis is more than just a place. It's a symbol of human potential and fragility a reminder that even the most brilliant civilizations are not immune to disaster. Perhaps the true lesson of Atlantis lies not in finding it, but in understanding the deeper meaning of the legend.
modern interpretations, pseudo-history and science sign the modern world. The mystery of Atlantis has become fertile ground for scholars and pseudoscientists. While mainstream historians view Plato's story as allegorical or speculative, others have proposed more imaginative theories. Some claim that the Atlanteans had access to advanced technology, perhaps even flight or nuclear power. These theories often stray far from the evidence, blending myth with science fiction. The line between legitimate historical inquiry and pseudo-history, however, is not always clear. Atlantis enthusiasts point out that the discovery of ancient underwater cities, such as Dwarka in India or Yanagani near Japan proves that entire civilizations have been lost over time. Skeptics, however, argue that these sites while impressive have no direct connection to Plato's Atlantis. Still, these discoveries remind us of how fragile human achievements are. Could there be other, Lost civilizations beneath the oceans, waiting to be discovered, or are we chasing ghosts conjured up by Plato's vivid imagination? The psychology of lost civilizations we are we so drawn to stories like Atlantis. Psychologists argue that the fascination with lost civilizations reflects a deep-rooted desire in the human psyche. We want to believe that humanity is capable of greatness beyond our recorded history. Lost worlds offer a sense of mystery and the thrill of discovery. The hope that there's still something left to discover in a world that often feels entirely unexplored. In addition, Atlantis serves as a metaphor for human hubris. It reflects our fear that recent achievements may be fleeting. The modern world with its rapid technological advances is not immune to the same mistakes Plato warned against. The legend of Atlantis speaks to our desire to learn from the past and avoid the pitfalls that have doomed other civilizations. The ocean Earth's final frontier more than 80% of the world's oceans remain unexplored then what secrets lie beneath those dark waters? Could the remains of ancient civilizations lie hidden deep beneath layers of sand and coral? The challenges of underwater archaeology are immense pressure. Darkness and unpredictable currents make exploration difficult not to mention the vastness of the seabed. Despite these obstacles, technology continues to advance with the use of autonomous underwater vehicles, AUVs, and deep-sea submersibles. Archaeologists are venturing into places once beyond human reach and the possibilities are tantalizing. After all, if stories of lost civilizations like Dwarka and the city of Heraclean were dismissed as myths but later discovered, who's to say Atlantis couldn't still be out there? Lessons from Atlantis, a timeless warning for humanity. Whether Atlantis was real or fictional, its story contains profound lessons that resonate with us today. Atlantis fell because of arrogance and greed qualities that still plague modern society. Environmental degradation, political corruption, and the reckless pursuit of power are threats that, if left unchecked, could lead to disaster. In many ways, the legend of Atlantis mirrors concerns about climate change. If a once great civilization could be wiped out by a sudden catastrophe, how vulnerable are we? Could rising sea levels, extreme weather events, or societal collapse create a modern Atlantis? The lesson is clear, no society no matter how powerful, is immune to the forces of nature or the consequences of its own actions. Conclusion, myth, reality, or a mix of both. So, was Atlantis real or just a story? The truth is, we'll probably never know. It could be a metaphor from Plato's brilliant mind, or the distorted memory of a real event, or maybe just maybe. The ruins of Atlantis are still waiting to be discovered somewhere beneath the waves. What do you think? Was Atlantis a real place, a myth, or something in between? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this dive into the mysteries of the past, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to History for Everyone, and ring the bell so you never miss our next adventure yet. Until next time, keep exploring.